In this video, I'm going to show you how to launch applications using Stream Deck. Again, this is for a Windows machine. I recorded this video for you based on what currently exists and what I know right now. But things change, new technology, new products, new software versions, new ideas that I get, some of them from viewers like you. So if you want to be informed when I release new videos with new or updated content, subscribe to this channel and get notified when I release them. Oh, and you can also like this video, but that's a whole different thing. To start, we need to make sure that the application that you want to launch is actually down at the taskbar. So make sure that it's down at the taskbar and not including this first one that really just gives you a task view. This would be application number one, two, three, four, five, and so on. This method would actually only allow you to launch one of the first nine applications. I'm not sure if the, the button zero would do anything. In Windows, in a Windows machine, the easiest way to launch an application from the taskbar, especially if you pin that application down to the taskbar, is to press the Windows button, which is the second from the left in the bottom row of the keyboard with a number a number button, one through nine. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to program a button on Stream Deck to do that for us. So for that purpose, I launched Stream Deck as the application. Stream Deck is an application that is pinned for me. Uh, if you click on the right, you can see that one of right mouse button on any of the applications, you can see that you can actually pin the application down to the taskbar. So the first applications are pretty much pinned and you can see that in number one, I have uh, Windows uh, uh, Internet Explorer or Edge. Uh, the second one is uh, Windows Explorer. Um, the third one is Chrome and another one, Chrome, when I signed in with another application. This is Microsoft Office, uh, Adobe uh, Creative Cloud, uh, Premiere Pro, P Photoshop. Those are kind of the, the first applications that I can uh, open and close. What I'm going to focus on is to open and close Edge with this button. And it will do that even if uh, this is not the active application. So the way to do that is, again, I already have uh, Stream Deck open and running. And uh, this looks exactly like a Stream Deck uh, device uh, looks like. And I'm going to scroll down to the Systems section. And in the system section, I have a hotkey switch or a hotkey. What I'm trying to do is something that's just a hotkey. So it doesn't change the situation once you press it and press it the second time. It just does the same thing every time you press it. I'm going to drag the hotkey into this button. And the next thing you know is it wants to, uh, uh, it's going to ask what is it that you want to assign or what key combination you want to assign. What I'm going to do is first give it a title and the title is going to be Edge. And you can see that now it says Edge. Uh, again, you know, just a little thing. Uh, I can uh, actually make it instead of in the top, I can make it in the center of the button or in the bottom of the button. You can see this is some customization that I have. I'm not gonna dig too deep into that one. Then I click here. When I click here, you will see in the hotkey uh, field, you see that it says observing keystrokes. And what I will do now is I will do the exact keystroke sequence that I want to do in my keyboard. So I'm gonna hold win and you can see that now it shows win is pressed and I'm going to press one. So you can see that I've I've set win plus one. I'm not 100% sure if you can just type in win plus one, you probably cannot. You It actually does capture the key, but the key sequence. So now this is programmed. So this button is programmed to have uh, to open the uh, first application on the toolbar. Let's see if it works. I'm going to first press it from here, not the actual device. When I press it, let's see what happens. Well, I guess you do have to press it. Uh, I'll press it from the device. Guess what? This is what happened. This first application, Microsoft Edge, is what happened, is what opened. And I'm going to press it again. Remember that every button here that you press, when you press it once, it will open it. The second time it will close it. The same thing happens when I press this button on my Stream Deck device. It opens and it closes again. 
I hope this was helpful. This is how you can launch or even close down a window of an application and that application does not have to be active. If this video was helpful to you, subscribe to my channel and get notified when I release more videos like this. Also, check out my resources for speakers at thediyspeaker.com.